Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from where I last got here on Thursday. It is June the 16th, 2016. I'm going to look at all the races. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Um, so it's a great card from Ascot today. I found some more prices I think we could get uh, in today. Uh, so let's get on to it, all six races. Before I get up on to that, uh, just a little disclaimer. Um, you know, uh, the purses are in American currency. I, I want to stress that. I'm looking at these races. Is more towards an American point of view, so I might say some weird things. So let's get on to it. Today's first race, the 2.30 post time from Royal Ascot's North Folk Stakes. Uh, going, it's a group two here, going for a purse of $147,000 in American currency. For, for two-year-olds only, we have a field of 11 horses traveling 1,000 meters, five furlongs over the straightaway, and my best bet of the meet is coming in this race, and that is the 11 horse, a Wesley Ward Invader from the States. That's number 11, Red Lodge, at 5-1. to one. I'm going to put that horse into a into an exact key. I'm going to go 11 with the 2, 3, 5 uh, for a dollar exact key. It's going to cost you $3, but number 11, Red Lodge, 5-1. to one. John Blasquist coming in from New York to ride this one, uh, taking that JFK to Heathrow flight uh, for Wesley Ward who won last, yesterday with Lady Aurelia. Um, but this horse is my best bet because he's running, she's run, uh, this horse is a filly, she gets a few pounds break also. She's carrying 124 pounds. The rest of the uh, horses are carrying 127 pounds. So there's about a mm, few pound difference. Um, but the reason this horse is my best bet is... Um, She's run two very good races. The one, her first race was a jockey ever. She should have won that day. Um, that first race came over at Keelan on April 20th. Four and a half wrongs, maiden special weight. This horse finished second by half length. She was 30 cents to the dollar. It was a heavy favorite, like most Wesley Ward horses are at Keelan. But in the stretch, this, um, the horse excuse me, the jockey kept looking over his shoulder and uh, didn't look up the rail because there came Javier Castellano and the eventual winner. And, uh, you know, Jack can look over his right shoulder. Who comes off the rail to nip him at the wire? The the eventual winner. So, the, basically, that April 20th start throw, it, this horse should have won that day. But because of a jockey error, this horse lost. So, but I th she should have really won. That start at Belmont a few weeks ago, about two and a half, three weeks ago now, on, on May 27th, five furlongs, main special weight. This horse won by length. John Velasquez did not touch that horse at all. That horse, okay, it was a little better odds than 30 cents to the dollar first start. That horse was 95 cents to the dollar in odds. You know, this horse won incredibly easy. In a field of seven horses, speed ha has been prevailing on the Widener turf course. On all the turf courses this year at Belmont Park, uh, they broke a few track records, but this horse just had a very impressive victory, setting the track record for five furlongs in 55 uh, and 7 uh, and 73. Um, you know, that was a very incredible race, very easy. John Velasquez very, very, uh, j just did not touch this uh, filly. I think she should have a hell of a race today. She should like the ground. You know, that Belmont, the only, you know, she should like the ground in theory. That Belmont ground where she broke the track record was a very, very firm ground. We didn't get a lot of rain that week. So, um, uh, well, it was actually good ground, but it was more towards, uh, it's not a good ground that you're not going to get uh, in, in England. You're going to get a, it's, um, it was more towards a firm ground that day um, than it says in the program. But this horse should really run a hell of a race today. Top pick, best bet of the whole Royal Ascot meeting. So to recap my bets for race number one, the 2.30 per post time from uh, Royal Ascot's to North Folk Stakes. Going to go to the 11 horse Red Lodge. I'm going to do uh, an exact key. Going to go 11 with the 2.35 for a dollar exact key. It's going to cost you $3. So now let's get on to race number two. The second race, the 3.05 post time. Um, it is the, um, hopefully I say this right, because, um, I, I, when I was looking at this race before, uh, you know, if there's a race that's a little tricky to pronounce, I, uh, try to say it early and I didn't. Uh, so this is going to be the first time, uh, it's to turn, turn century stakes? We'll just go, we'll just go with the second race, it's group two, uh, group three here, class, uh, one horse is going for a purse, $132,500, mile and a quarter, uh, you know, I'll find the, the right pronunciation later on, but we have nine horses going to post here, and, um, you know, it's a very nice race here, uh, traveling a mile quarter distance, and I'm going to go to the one horse, Blue de Vega, German bred horse, who are uh, going to put this horse into an exact key, going to go one with the two, three, nine, for a dollar exact key, it's going to cost you three dollars, but number 
one, Blue to Vega. Kieran Fallon on this one at seven to two. Kieran Fallon's having a renaissance of a year so far. This is coming back to the uh, to Europe. Last time out, ran at Kirk in Ireland on May the twenty first on a yielding turf course, one mile the Tatters Field, Irish two thousand guineas. Horse finished third by six and three quarter, six and three quarter lengths behind uh, Atuad, who this horse lost uh, behind two starts in a row. Um, you know, she just need a little bit more. She's going that mile and a quarter distance. That should really help. I think this horse will be a better mile and a quarter distance uh, kind of horse. Start before that was a Kirk in, Ar in Ireland. Again, I made the second. Seven furlongs and a listed stakes. Horse turned second by two lengths behind Atuad, who won the, the Irish 2000 guineas. Uh, you know, it, it was a decent second place finish. First start off the layoff since October. But, you know, she should improve today with the, or he should improve with the longer distance today. And then last our last year came at seven furlongs in the Group Three uh, stakes at Leopardstown. Horse won by three and a half lengths. Really easy victory. So I'm going to go with this one here. So to recount my bets for race number two from Royal Ascot, I'm going to go to the one horse, Blue to Vega. I'm going to do a, uh, an exact key. I'm going to go one with the two, three, nine for a dollar. It's going to cost you three dollars. So now let's get on to race number three from Royal Ascot. It's the Rims, it's the uh, Ribblesdale Stakes. It's a group two here for Phillies. Class one horse is going for a purse of about $294,000 for three-year-old Phillies only. We have a field of 14 horses traveling the distance of ground of a mile and a half here. And my top selection, I'm going to go to the two horse, uh, number two, Architecture at three to one. Going to put this horse into an exact key. Going to go two with the six, seven, nine for dollar exact key. It's going to cost you three dollars for number two, Architecture. Uh, three to one out of Zoffany for Frankie Dettori. Last time out, run at Epson on um, the June the 3rd, a mile and a half in the Imbinex Oaks. Horse finished second by one through quarter lengths behind Minding. We ran a hell of a race. It was a heavy favorite Minding. Uh, this horse is 12 to one, but you know, it just got, it was, it was a pretty decent second place finish. Um, that race was pretty impressive for this uh, start. I have our three to one. I know you're not going to, I don't see us getting three to one here in the States on this one. I think this horse might get bet into the ground. Um, if not, if this horse doesn't get bet into the ground, it goes up to five to one. It's a blessing because I really like this horse's chances. Start before that was at Linkfield on May the 7th. Good on a good ground. Mile seven sixteenths in a Phillies listed six. Horse for second by neck. First time going the added distance of more than a mile. And this horse just kept going. It was a very nice finish. Uh, second place finish. Last two starts have been improving. This horse has been improving with the last two starts. In a great spot for this horse to really win uh, uh, a stakes race here, a group company race. Uh, watch out for this horse. Um, so gonna go with this one. So to cap my bets for race number three, the 340 from Royal Ascot. It is the Ribblesdale Stakes. I'm gonna go to the two horse architecture. I'm gonna do a, an exact key. I'm gonna go two with the 679 for a dollar exact key. It's gonna cost you three dollars. So now let's get on to a race. Number four, the fourth race, the 420 post time for Royal Ascot. It's the Gold Cup in honor of the Queen, uh, the Queen's 90th birthday. Uh, group one horses here going for a purse of $588,000. For four-year-olds and upwards, we have a uh, field of 18 horses traveling two and a half miles distance for stayers here. Um, just thinking, they can never run a race like this in America because the American stayers is like two horses. Uh, the Stairs kind of horses, so you could just never, you have a race, that they ran it last week here in New York, Belmont, the uh, Belmont Gold Cup, that's a pretty new race, and it's been filling up pretty good, maybe in a few t few years time we could run more races over a mile, mile basically, a lot of races in North America don't go over a mile at most race checks, it's a shame, that's why I like looking at these uh, races in Europe, because on a regular basis you have races going a mile and a quarter, mile and a half, two miles, two miles and sixteenths, and in uh, America, very, very rarely have races going over a mile, basically, but uh, you have a very nice field of horses in this race. I think it's it's a very tough field to handicap. We have the 14-horse Order of St. George, uh, a Coolmore horse here at uh, four to five. You know, four to five is not a price I would like to get on this horse. Even if it wins, I'd rather find something else, find a horse somewhere else in the field that's this deep. I found three horses that can maybe be an upsetter here. I'm going to put them into an exact. I'm going to go three, four, eight. Those are the three horses I think could really do something. They're, they're all a decent prices. So three, four, eight is top selection here. I would also put the one, six, nine, 
14 on the bottom end of uh, an exacta, but 348. Starting off with number three, flying officer at 10 to 1, Frankie Dettori for John Gosden. Last time out, ran over this course at Ascot, two miles and the uh, Cigarro Stakes Group 3 event that day. Horse finished third by three and quarters of a length. You know, just need a little bit more. That was the horse's first start since October the 17th over this course at Ascot and the British Champions Long Distance Cup. This horse won by a length at 6 to 1. Very nice victory, I must say. First time, uh, you know, second time uh, going the long distance. Uh, uh, in that race, um, you know, um, and then at Newmarket, two miles in the list of stakes, horse one by two lengths, very easy victory at 67 cents, to, 67 cents to the dollar, so it was a heavy favorite, you know, this horse ran in that, uh, like I said, this horse ran in that British Champions long distance race 12, twice, won it, um, last year, of course, he should, uh, the six-year-old gelding should very, you know, should have a great improvement today, watch out for this one, I'm also going to put the four horse onto the ticket at a very nice odds here. Number four, Fun Mac, a German bred horse for James Doyle, 31, um, here in American Odds. Last time out, Ralph Sanclou hasn't started since October 25th, I know, on a soft turf course, a mile and seven eighths in the pre Royal Oak. This horse finished eighth by seven uh, and a half lengths that day. You know, just needed a little bit more. This horse's better distances have been coming over two miles. The start before that was at two miles and a half at Longchamp on October the 4th in the Pre du Cordon Stakes. Horse finished third by four lengths. You know, just need a little a little bit more again that day, a little more accelerate acceleration, and then here in England on at Doncaster, September the 11th in Doncaster Cup, horse finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths. You know, it needed a little extra kick that day. I think he should be in a great spot. 30 to one is great odds on this horse. If you can lock in high rods, get it. Um, so watch out for this horse to be an upset. That's why I said I the 14 horse at four to five. When you have some better horse, you know, not better horses. A 14 horse has a lot of class, but I think you could find maybe some somewhere else to go in this race. I would also, like I said, put on the 8 horse on the ticket as a top selection also, who was uh, Mizzou. 8 1, Andre Etazzini. Last time out, ran into Longi and Cigarro stakes over this course at Ascot in April. Horse won by neck that day and ran in hell of a race, beating uh, my other horse, the uh, 3 horse uh, flying officer who finished third behind uh, Mizzou. You know, it, it, was, it was a very good win that day off the layoff. Start before that was August 21st at York, two miles in Lonsdale Stakes, uh, Lonsdale Cup. Horse finished second by four and a half lengths, you know, just couldn't catch the winner who were in a hell of a race. Then last year in this race, this horse finished seven by three and a quarter lengths. You know, just had, uh, you need a little extra, I think, that day. I think this horse should have a great race here today. Won the last two runnings of the Scar Stakes at um, Ascot, so I think he should be coming into this race pretty good. So to recap my bets for the Gold Cup, from Royal Ascot, race four, the 420 post time. As top selections, I would go three deep here this race. I would go three, four, eight. Three, four, eight is top selection. Uh, in the exact, I would put three, four, eight on the top. On the bottom, I would use one, six, nine, 14. So now let's get on to race number five from Royal Ascot. Fifth race on this Thursday afternoon is the uh, uh, Britain, Brittany, Brit Britannia Stakes. Let's go with that. I, I told you, my pronunciation of some words is just horrendous, so bear with me. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a stakes race here. It's a heritage handicap class two horse going for a first hundred seventy six thousand five hundred dollars for three year olds Colts and uh, geldings only. We have a field of uh, thirty three horses, I believe. The uh, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three are also eligible or reserves, as you call them. Uh, if one of the horses scratches, they'll come in. Uh, but we'll have a field thirty into this one, and it's very deep. Also, I get, I'm going to give out two top selections in this pick uh, in this race. I'm going to go two fourteen as a top selection. So 214 on the top of a, uh, on top of a, an exact key. This race I would go also. I would go 214 with the 1724 on the bottom. But the 214 top selection number two, Sea of Flames at 30 to one with Sylvester de Sousa. Uh, last time out, running Epson on June the third, my own 16th in Inv Inverness Diome Stakes. Horse from the six by long lengths, beat one horse. You know this horse really when uh, Sylvester asked him that day, this horse just really didn't move. Just hung a little bit that day. She, he should be um, 
improving off that start. Uh, actually, off his last two. That start at York on May the twelfth. Uh, on May the twelfth, a mile and a quarter in the bet for Dante Sticks. Horse finished eleven by sixteen lengths in a very deep field. Uh, you know, this horse was just eased. Beat one horse that day. I think he, this horse is now facing lesser quality horses, which is a key to this horse is going to have an improvement of a race. This horse has had improvements over the last three. You know, he, he uh, lost by 16 lengths in the start of York last time out at Epson. This horse uh, lost by 11 lengths. So maybe this time this horse could really get a good run. I think this horse should be on the improvement after facing so much tougher last time out. Going to use him as a win wager. Also going to use the 14 as a win wager. Number 14, Pal Palawana. Palawan at 20 to 1 Pat Dobbs on this one. Last time out, hasn't started in about mm, six weeks or so, or actually more than six weeks. Uh, uh, at uh, Sandown, a mile and a quarter in the uh, classic trial stakes group three. Horse finished fourth by 10 lengths that day. You know, I, I think this horse is more towards a mile or kind of horse. You know, they went the mile and a quarter. I, I, I don't think it really worked in my eyes. Uh, you know, start four that was a link field on the uh, poly track, one mile on the listed stakes. Horse finished fifth by four and a quarter lengths at seven to one. You know, it just had nothing a little extra that day. That was the horse's first start also since September, so you could throw that race out, basically. It was kind of a prep race. Uh, then at Doncaster, last start last year's time of the 12th in Champagne Stakes. Uh, this horse finished third by 11 lengths. Not the Champagne Stakes that we run here in New York as a prep race for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Champagne Stakes, they run at uh, Doncaster. This horse finished third by 11 lengths. Again, need a little extra ground. The mile distance should be perfect for this horse. Did very well when this horse had when the course had a lot of rain in it, so we'll like a soft tur turf course if we get it. So, gonna go with this one. So, to recap my uh, bets for race number five for Moral Ascot, the five o'clock post time as a top selection, I would go too deep, gonna go 214. I'm gonna go uh, in the uh, exact wagering, I'm gonna go 214 with the 1724 for the bottom position. So, now let's get on to race. Number six, the 535 post time final race on today's Royal Ascot Thursday program. Um, it is the King George uh, Stakes, uh, going for a purse of $132,500 for three year olds only. We have a field of 18 horses traveling the distance of ground of a mile and a half on the turf course, 2,400 meters ahead of them. And my top selection here, I'm going to go to the six horse, Lovell, a Godolphin uh, horse here. I'm going to put that horse into an exact key. Going to go six with the 2912 for a Dollar exact key. It's going to cost you three dollars. The number six Lovell out of Dubawi, four to one. William Buick for Charlie Appleby. Last time out, ran a Sandown on the 22nd of April. Mount a quarter in handicap class three event that day. Horse finished second by half length. First start basically going over seven furlongs, and I think this horse really liked it. The longer the distance, I think this horse should really excel. That's something I'm, when I was looking at this race, kept going back to this horse, kept going back to the replay. This horse will really excel at the mile and a half distance. I think the, the t pedigree should really like it also out of Dubawi. Um, and then at Thursk on the 5th, is, uh, you have to go back to, uh, back to last September the 5th. Seven furlongs in main class four. Horse won by one and a half lengths that day. 73 cents to the dollar. Heavy, heavy favorite. And a horse just ran very good to a maiden victory. And then his first two career starts. Throw out that first start new uh, new market. Horse finished 11th. Just didn't like the ground, I guess. It was a very dry turf course. And then a f finished second, second start at Sandown. I think this horse will really do well. Uh, big, you know, a little bit of a question. The horse's best starts have been coming over at Sandown. So maybe the horse really likes Sandown. I don't know, but I like like I said, I think the horse should really excel with the mile and a half dis distance. So gonna go with this one. So to recap my bets for race number six, the 535 from Royal Ascot. Final race in today's program is King George Stakes. Uh, gonna go to the six horse Lovell. Gonna put this horse into an exact key. Gonna go six with the two nine twelve for dollar exact key. It's gonna cost you three dollars. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck, everybody.